Hi, this is Pam. Welcome back to Crochet Series number 12. Thank you for the shout out to the folks who um, asked me to show how to change the color of the yarn or to add another uh, skein of yarn if you run out. The second thing that I'm going to go over is when you're crocheting again how to not increase your stitch your stitches so that if you started out with 120 you remain at 120 now the first thing is changing colors now supplies that you're going to need today i just had some yarn i did i pulled out the uh thicker yarn just so you could see me crocheting the stitches a little bit clearer so go get your yarn get you a pair of sharp scissors you're going to need a pair of scissors to work with and also have your handy dandy crochet hook um, please make sure that the crochet hook corresponds with your yarn so that it lessens you struggling trying to work through this okay so this is what I did. I did a row of double crochet. And when I crochet, um, when I first make the chain, I crochet on the back of the chain in the hump. And I do believe I cover that. Um, it should be in series one, two, or three. Go back look and review. If you don't see it, let me know. I'll go over that again. But it just gives the rows a cleaner look as opposed to when you crochet in a chain and you just go through one. Usually people crochet and they have the chain and they just go through this one. And it's just sort of loosey-goosey. I just like mine's a little bit tighter and uh, I, I, it just gives it a better appearance to me. So whatever you feel comfortable in doing, do that. Now, in changing colors, always look through tutorials. There are a lot of ways to change your uh, yarn to another color. But this is the way that I do. This is the way I do it. When you get to the last stitch on the row, like this. See these last two of this double crochet? you stop. Now, you should know how to do a double crochet stitch. Again, go through my crochet series. It tells you how to do that, so go back. So, um, when you go through, I'm going to go through the chain, I'm going to do it, do the stitch. But, you see this right here? This is the back hump, so you can see that. Wrap your yarn around the hook. Go through that back hump or loop in the back, pull up two, and make sure I'm in focus, pull up two. Right here is where we're going to stop and we're getting ready to change colors. Now, some people just take the yarn and just fold it and pull this through. I don't do that, but I'm gonna show you. You can do this. This will work. And pull through. And you just change colors. Now, this is what I do. Just for my own security, because I always think something is going to come loose. I do a slip knot. And I even do this when I'm knitting on a loom. I don't know why, but this just gives me more security when I do the slip knot to make any color changes or add on or whatever. So what I do is take the slip knot through the loop, kind of tighten it a little bit, and then pull the yarn, make sure I'm in focus, through these two. Kind of pull this down a little bit. Pull it through. I 
don't think I did. Okay, let me start this again. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. I had this right before. Okay. Let me pull this out. Because, see, you're going to be doing this, too, when you go to do this, so. Now we're going to turn, we're going to take this yarn right here and you can kind of cut this down, but we're going to crochet where this is going to be incorporated into the stitches and it keeps you from having to sew uh, with a needle your, to hide your, your thread. So this is what we're going to do here. In this first one right here, go through. Make sure you have the right strand. A lot of times I have crocheted with this little, with the with the smaller strand. Y you will get frustrated and you will stop doing it after you've done it a couple of few times. So pull this up and then pull through. I go back in to the first loop and make sure you don't do it really tight like I just did it. But put your crochet hook back through that first loop pull through and go through the second one okay and then go back up pull up one and go back through two I know that looks crazy but it keep if I, I could have chained three which is right here but when you chain three, it's really kind of naked, and it, it you have a lot of gaps. So that's why I do this, and it, it, it brings this up when you do it three times to look like you have a double crochet. It's the height of this. Now, bring the thread over, and I'm, that's why we have our scissors. I'm going to clip this down so you're not crocheting all of that in. And you can always, when you do your slip knot, you know slide it so you don't have so much yarn to uh, have to incorporate so we just go into the next one and crochet over that strand see what I'm doing I'll make sure I'm in focus This don't always look pretty all the time, but this is, for me, the closest I can get it. And if you crochet in a border, you, you'll hide it. It won't be so bad, but it's pretty clean. And this should be about 10 stitches. And while I was crocheting earlier, I was looking at the skein of yarn, this purple one, and I noticed that uh, the company who manufactures the yarn, their way of connecting the yarn, and you'll see this, they just tied a knot and let it hang. And I'm gonna show you that in a minute. Now, you can do that if you should run out of yarn. You can tie a square knot, Still in focus here and we got to the last stitch hopefully we got all ten but you see this so this is not all up in here it just gives it a, a cleaner transition to do it okay now let me show you where the manufacturer just I, I don't know what happened because I haven't even used this but this is how they uh, connected two ends to add on into making this skein of yarn move this out the way 
they just simply just tied it and didn't even clip the knot to clip the knot or anything to give it a clean appearance you will see this a lot um you'll be working and have a brand new again i have to emphasize this and a skein of yarn and as you're working you will see usually it typically looks like this so let me clip this down because this is what i would do it usually looks like this it's just tied and that's all you simply have to do if you should run out of a, uh, your, your yarn and you need to add another one on same color and you just tie it in a knot um, I have tied it in the knot where it's the two strands and you just do this and do this and tie it in a knot make sure it's real tight um, I'm going to cut this so you can see a square knot. And that I had to learn a little later on. That came later. Let's see if I can get this back. Okay. I'm going to do this. I'm going to cut this. And this is like a square knot. You're going to take the right over the left, bring it around like that, pull a little bit, and then this side over the right over the left and pull that through or whatever this knot is so and do that and it, pull it pull it pull it until it's it shouldn't slide all right there you go and then I clip it down that's now the third way that I incorporate yarn or add yarn on. Let me clean this up. Is I'm gonna clip this off. The third way that I add yarn on, um, you saw how I did this one right here. Same thing. You just add the. Um, let me make sure I'm okay. When I did it on this far end, let's say it's down in here, or if it's trying to think I think I showed you all the ways with with this one when you have I just wanted to make sure that I've told you both the ways but those are the two ways I don't think I thought I had a third way but it's not I'm sorry um, how to add starting a new row never uh, try and complete the stitch that's at the bottom with the new yarn and finish it up, finish that stitch up with the new yarn and then move into the next row. So let me show you again. Always when you get to the end of the row, that last stitch, don't complete it. Put the new yarn in that last stitch and finish up the stitch with the new yarn and then go up to the top and start your next row. That's how I change colors where it doesn't look really, really crazy. Again, go to YouTube, go to um, some other tutorials because there are a lot of ways to do this. It's just how I incorporate um, my yarn and to the next row and, and to get it so that it is as clean as possible. Again, I don't like to use chain threes or chain twos. Um, for single crochet, yeah, I will. But all the others, I usually will not do that because I don't like the loops. I don't like the loops on the end. I, I really don't. And right here, you see, you don't have you don't have all that space and gap in between the chain and then the next stitch. Now, the next thing that I'm going to be showing you is how to keep with your rows. Um, I was going, I'm going to teach you a new stitch. It's called the sedge stitch. So I will come back in one moment and we're going to start a whole new uh, type of stitch. And we're going to begin the process of making a scarf using this new stitch. So I'll see you in one minute. All right, part two, we're going to learn how to crochet set stitch. Um, a set stitch, there are a lot of ways to make this stitch. It's absolutely beautiful. 
it's really nicely textured so what we're going to do the first thing I want you to chain 35 oops 35 I need for you to chain 35 and at this time you can pause your video and catch up to me um, don't be in a rush um, you can always pause and then start it back again now before in part in, in part one of this uh, video series I said I always crochet through the back I always do I just like the appearance and so what I'm going to do is go into the next one usually um, if it's a double crochet you start in the second one but I'm just going to go to the first one in the back hump and go straight through the one because the bottom will just look like you have two loops together full stitch and I'm going to show you in a minute See, I'm in the back, right up in here. And I'm just doing a single crochet at this time, which you only pull in through two. See how I'm doing it? Pull up wrap around pull through two getting some more yarn and continue till you get to the end I know when I'm listening to other tutorials they have nice music in the back um, that that sometimes is distracting but it's beautiful it's really nice I, I don't complain I just like being able to talk you through how to do this and it should be enjoyable it should be very calming and relaxing and I am not a speed crocheter I've, I've seen tutorials where people can really rip through this stuff and 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 crochet at the speed of light and it'd be all nice and whatnot and I'm going okay I'm like a turtle but it you know I, I get it done it's okay and if that's what works for you if I'm going too slow pause this sucker and come back I'll still be here <laughs> and uh, we'll get through the process. Now, with this set stitch, let me say this it can be done when I learned how to do it um, some years ago. And the first stitch, you did a single crochet and a double crochet, and you skipped a stitch and as I did some more research now uh, it has changed and I'm like wow so today's pattern just so you know for the people who do know how to crochet you can go run past me start the second row and in that second row the pattern will be first stitch you're going to single crochet in that same first stitch you're going to double crochet and then you're going to double crochet again so you should have three stitches in the first stitch okay then you're going to skip two and you're going to repeat the process and you can do that until you get to the end of the row now for the rest who are still finishing up their row now I'm almost through keep going I'm with you I'm not gonna leave you yeah 
now. We're almost there. Let's see, one more. Two. Get some more yarn. And what I like about this newer stitch, again, I have to emphasize the it has a nice texture. And I was thinking, man, this would be great if you were crocheting a baby blanket um, using either a thick yarn, a soft thick yarn like this, or a thinner baby yarn. And sometimes you might want to do two strands together if it's for the winter. But if it's, the spring is coming. This is March. So you might want to go with the one strand. All right. We're getting ready we're going to chain one and it is not going to count as a stitch we're going to turn and for the people if you went ahead of me we're going to go into this area right here we're going to go into the two come up we're going to pull through two there's your single crochet now we're going to do a double crochet pull up two pull up well wrap your uh, yarn around your hook and pull through the second two let's do the second double crochet yarn through two yarn through two we're going to now skip two one two and then we're going to do another single crochet you remember the pattern single crochet double crochet double crochet skip two one two single crochet double crochet and the second double crochet let me get all these scraps of yarn out of the way I have garbage can back there and right here Pull this through, skip two, one, two, skip, okay, single, go back in, same stitch, double crochet, and then you're going to double crochet back into that same stitch for the third stitch. Look at that. Isn't that neat? Okay, let's keep going. Skip two, one, two, single crochet, double crochet, and the third stitch, double crochet that second time. You should be getting the hang of this pattern. Skip two. single crochet double crochet double crochet again in that sec in that stitch second double crochet in that stitch pattern so you have the three single double double skip skip that's the pattern all the way to the end skip one skip two single crochet double crochet 
double crochet. Okay, we'll meet you at the end and the last stitch, we're just going to put a single crochet. So pause your video and I'll meet you back when we get just before we get to the end. See you in a moment. Okay, we're at the end. We're going to skip two and in this last one, we're going to single crochet. Now, we're going to the next row. We're going to chain one, turn it. You should be able to skip two, and we're going to be chain uh, crocheting in the single crochet. Let's try this. See if this works out. My time, first time doing this too. So, um, let's see how this is going to work out. two all right here we go I'm gonna I think what I'm gonna do is single crochet here we're going to skip two and we're going to do a single crochet right here in the single crochet we're going to do a double crochet. I'm going to do another double crochet and that single crochet. Here we go. Very. And let's see if this works out. We're going to skip two, one, two, and back right here, which is the single crochet. Single crochet. Double crochet and double crochet. Now I made an error and I want to correct this. This part right here is really a stitch. And let me tell you what the mistake was because I need for you to learn like I forgot to do. You remember when we started the chain of 35? I should have skipped two and not go into the first hump I should have went to the second hump the count would have been right so again have your pattern by you so you know what errors you make now this would be something that I would frog I would just take it loose and just start it all over again this is just a practice we're learning how to make the stitch so it doesn't matter I will keep going because it's just the same pattern after this but again this right here would have been a stitch. It's just that I should have started in the second stitch in the first row that I did not do. And I started in the first stitch, not in the second. Okay, let's go. Let's continue on. Sk skip two here. One, two. See, we're in the right place. That's why I'm doing it like this. Pull up. Single crochet. Double crochet, double crochet, and I'm glad I make mistakes so you can see if you make a mistake, you'll know what you're looking at, and it helps. And I've seen where you know some tutorials they made a mistake, and I go, Oh, okay, so that's what I'm looking at if I do that, and I'll know how to correct it. So, again, let's do this. Let's count one, two. We're skipping one and two, and we're going back again. You can always tell, let me take my crochet hook out, that this is the single crochet stitch. So, we're going to start with the single crochet pattern, single crochet, double crochet back in, go back in and double crochet again. Skip one and two, single crochet.
double crochet and double crochet again in that same stitch. Skip two, one, two, single crochet, double crochet, double crochet. Skip two, single crochet, double crochet. And back into the same stitch. You're supposed to have three stitches in a pattern. Another double crochet for a total of three stitches in this one single crochet stitch. So make sure you can see it. All right. We're going to skip two one and two and I'll put you right back in the single crochet make a single crochet is the first stitch there grab some more yarn double crochet double crochet I hope the pattern is starting to flow for you. You should be able to have this now. One, two, we're going to skip back into the single crochet, single crochet, and a single crochet. <laughs> then we're going to double crochet and go back again inside that single crochet with a double crochet. Look at that. Look at that pattern. I like that. Man, can you imagine making a baby blanket? Ooh, that is so cool. Or, or a scarf, a winter scarf for someone. Oh, oh my God. Okay. One, two, we're going to skip. And we're going in here. Single crochet is the first stitch. Sing, uh, double, sorry, don't let me say the wrong thing because you can be saying it and be meaning, but okay, we got to make sure we're saying the right thing. So the pattern is single crochet, double crochet, and double crochet again. And it looks like a shell. And we'll, we'll learn in another series how to do the crochet shell stitch. But right now, look at that. I am so stoked. This is so cool. Okay, let's see how we're going to end this. One, two. Yes, and then it ended right so from correcting it from before. Okay, single crochet and chain one and turn. Okay, let's see where we're going to be at now. Because we got to be in the single crochet. Okay, let's see. Let's go on to right here. Single crochet. And we should be skipping two, one, two. And you see it does put us right back in the single crochet. And you start it all over again. Double. And double okay yeah I think we got this straighten your stuff up and straighten up your rows and, and then you look at it you're where you're supposed to be so I always crochet the pattern in the single crochet stitch and it'll come out it'll oh my gosh I have to use this for something but I like sharing new things and I just had to try this out but you can you see this there's not a problem just for for my for for those who said they had a problem with extra stitches do not go 
into this one. I think that might be the problem. I'm going to just take this a loose. I call frogging it. Um, when you do the chain one to bring it up to the other uh, from the other row from the bottom row and you go in here don't um I don't know I was trying to think sometimes I used to would go into this one thinking that's the first one but you got to pay attention don't go in here this is not the first stitch this is the first stitch you go in here and you double crochet I mean you single crochet oh lord i'm getting tired you single crochet skip to and look at where your pattern is you have to look at it and see this is a single crochet stitch right in here and you're going to put another single crochet so that it will work out so that when you come back the other way you come you're crocheting again in the single crochet you're skipping two after you uh, completed your, crochet, your your three stitch series. So I'm gonna do this one more time. This is the first stitch. The second stitch is a double crochet. Third stitch is a double crochet. And let's see if this pattern works out. Skip, skip, yep, back in the single. That's all you have to do with this particular stitch. And always straighten it up to make sure, hey, you know, you're where you're supposed to be. It's got a nice little rectangular shape. And you're prob you will, I always put a border on most of my things and just to make it balance out. Or you can put an edging on, on the, um, see this? On, on the outside. So when you go around, you can have a nice edging. But again, this is called the set stitch and there are many ways to do it again when i learned to do it it was single crochet double crochet skip one stitch that's an easy pattern to do and it's absolutely gorgeous this one is where you do um single crochet double crochet double crochet skip two and always, always, always go to YouTube and or or uh, Pinterest, and if you need to print up the pattern um, and or look it up again, look it up. It's there because I saw a lot of different people who um, was showing how to the to um, offer the tutorials on how to crochet. That's how I was able to get this, and so we're trying something out together. Well that's it for today i hope i covered the topics you all wanted uh for me to cover i am pam brown from tmp handmade collection you can find me on facebook instagram tiktok and youtube i do sell vintage apparel online i do limited edition items i absolutely just love this so um as we say each week have a blessed uh, week and a wonderful spring and hope to see you again at the next series. Have a great day. Bye-bye.